Do you like dogs? I mean dogs. So, another beautiful morning. So my my granddad. Dogs used to bark at him and growl at him. And you know what? He didn't like dogs. He was, don't get me wrong, he was a great guy. I loved him. I really, uh, you know, he was, I was very close to him. Very close. My father, on the other hand, in the Second World War, my father was an evacuee. What that means is you got shipped away from your parents into the countryside to, the, to live with strangers. So my father ended up on a farm in a place called Darwin, Lancashire. And I always remember him telling me about when he was on the farm. The sheepdog was called Jip. And dogs would come to my father. He would, you know, stroke them, tickle their ear, everything. But dogs would run up to my father with their tail wagging. My dad loved dogs. We never had one, because, it, you know, he, he was quite right. If you're out at work all day, you shouldn't have a dog in a house. A dog is, a dog needs to be out and running and stretching. So, personally, I love animals. And consequently, it doesn't matter how nasty or growling or they don't like, doesn't like men, dogs are, or cats, within seconds, I'm friends with the animal. So what is this, this what is this curious phenomenon? I'll tell you. Have you ever met in your life, someone, for the first time, and you just don't like them? You don't know why, you just don't like them. There's something there, there's something you got, there's something going like, hmm, there's something a little off here, there's something that doesn't feel right, there's something not quite right about this person, but you don't go into your head about it. It's just something you feel. It feels off. Chances are, they don't like you either. Not that you've done anything wrong, they just don't like you. Then again, sometimes in your life you meet people and you feel like you've known them forever. Within seconds. You feel like you've known them forever. And you don't know why. And they don't know why. So stop thinking about it, because it doesn't matter why. Just take that feeling. And you have friends that you lose contact with and reconnect five years later, 10 years later, 20 years later, 30 years later. And it's as though it was yesterday. Nothing's, nothing's happened, the connection is still there. So this I would call vibrational energy. We are in sync with certain things. We are in sync through the energy we give off with certain things. And we attract people like us. So, if you're miserable, guess who you're attracting? If you're happy, guess who you're attracting? If you give off that vibrational energy, If you give off that vibrational energy, which is not self-serving, it's not feeding your ego, it's totally selfless. You want to do the right thing. And people talk about karma and giving good vibes, and most of them haven't got a clue what they're talking about. It's not good vibes or bad vibes. It's a frequency. So when those vibes are all in all in sync someone here is smoking something very green <laughs> those vibes are all in sync everything connects and there's a flow through that now be that with an animal or a human that's still the same when you're out there looking for your own interests, you are giving those vibes out and people can tell a mile away and they stay away from you. When you're out there looking just for your own, to create income or 
to get laid or whatever it is you're giving those vibes out and people read it a mile off it stinks of desperation when you're out there holy crap five bedroom condominium on Lex that's got to be uh, 20 or 30 million when you're out there selflessly doing what you feel is the right thing without seeking reward without seeking recognition without any of these things you're just out there doing it because you want to do it when you do that the vibrational energy you will give out is beyond anything in the universe and guess what's going to happen you are going to attract people with the same feel as you you're going to attract wonderful great people just like you and this is not something that happens in a second it takes a supreme amount of work often with help required often a bunch of exercises often it may feel like you need someone to put your hand down your throat rip out your soul stamp on it a few times kick it around set it on fire and hand it you back when it's clean and yeah there's going to be tears so that's my thought for today not for now I'll have another one in another hour so, answer the damn question. Do you like dogs?